But in the meantime, someone else who's riding a wave at the moment is our free spirit for this week, evangelical surfer John McCarthy. Living here in Lahinch, County Clare, uh, I run Lahinch Surf School. Uh, I've got a wonderful wife, um, a son, Matthew, and our daughter, Rebecca. And I've been here in County Clare since 2002. I grew up in Tremor in County Waterford, close to the beach. That's where I started surfing. I was the youngest of four children. Typical Catholic, religious Irish family. And uh, that was our upbringing, you know, just, um, it was just almost the, the leftovers of religious Ireland. In my teenage years, I got into surfing and, you know, very much got into the surf culture, which is by nature, it's probably like the absolute rebel uh, culture. You know, you're into Jimi Hendrix music, The Doors, just anything rebellious. And um, that's, that's kind of what, that was where I was at for 15 years. I tried loads of different sports, but surfing was the thing that clicked with me and that was, I just threw my all in all into surfing just to get better at it, just to compete at it. And soon I got on the Irish surf team and that was that really defined me for for a long time that I was I'm a surfer and I was good at it and I loved it. The thing about surfing was it was a totally selfish pursuit. And it you know, it led to a very selfish lifestyle. The selfish life is a very lonely life. And part of that, you know, selfish surfer lifestyle that I lived was a lot of just throwaway relationships. You just meet people for, for what they can give you and then that expires or you move on and then that's finished. So definitely that just led to a, it's kind of like a rootless kind of life, you know, just a life without roots. Um, I was in Byron Bay in Australia and I really just for the first time started to have that spiritual desire to kind of like, okay, there must be more to life than this. I didn't immediately identify that it was, I have a spiritual hole that needs to be filled, but there was just a desire to know about spiritual things. But it was from there that I got a hunger to know, OK, I want to know about all the world religions. And, and I wasn't investigating them as in I want to join one. It was just a hunger to know about God and about who is God. When I came back, I met somebody from Christian surfers. And I had no idea that there was such a thing as Christian surfers or Christian bikers or Christian skateboarders. So he invited me to a Christian surfers conference and I went along and I saw that these guys were really passionate about Jesus. But I, I just kind of thought, well, I'm a good person. I don't really need to really be totally committed. But something happened in my life where I hit the wall and my sin caught up with me to the point I needed help. And I went back to that Christian surfers conference and I heard the message of God's grace that Jesus invited sinners to come to him and, and be saved and be healed. And that was when, when I heard that message of God's grace, there was a surrender in my heart where I said, okay, Jesus, I'm all yours, I surrender. Well, this is the reason why we have a song to sing tonight. This is the reason. The man that I met um, in Christian Surfers, uh, he uh, is a, was a plumber up in Donegal and by faith, he packed up his business, moved down to La Hinch and just really felt that God called him to come down here and just to, to be available to, to do whatever God wanted. So Steve's family, um, his wife and his three boys all moved down to La Hinch. About six and a half years ago, we started uh, North Clare Community Church and we started just with four or five people and over the years it grows and it grows and it keeps growing. And the wonderful thing is that We've experienced the undeserved favor of God, and it's wonderful that you're creating a place where people can come in or listen online, and just that they can experience this beauty of actually knowing, having a relationship with God, 
and that's it's a wonderful thing to be involved in and so that's really what we felt that God wants to do just do a new thing As a surfer, um, especially surfing a wave like at the bottom of the Cliffs of Moher, which is one of the biggest, um, scariest waves in the world, um, there's moments when you're there and a big wave comes and you have to paddle for your life. And like, there's nothing like the feeling of like, not knowing whether it's gonna land on you and break you or whether you're actually gonna get over it. You know, seeing the, the wonder and the, the power of those waves and the power of just a wave that size. It really does give you like um, a respect or an awe. If creation is this powerful, how much more the creator is just, God is a huge, eternal, all powerful being. But that's where we find freedom. When we get over ourselves and just realize it's not about me. It's about God. There's something bigger in life going on than just me and my little world. And if you want to hear more from John McCarthy, you can check out his own Christian web channel. It's called cliffsofhope.com. Now, I know if I ever surfed, I definitely need God there with me, not to mention the RNLI.